So, entering the capital, going to the throne room. Let's see what we have here. Mara, we have a big fish here today. A noble from Provoy. His gloves are worth hundreds of gold coins and his eyes are shifty. He has a business offer to make. He wants to open a leather working shop in our domain and tan skins. These tanneries smell like cobalt's backside. This industry requires the use of alchemical components which are carried by the wind and cause nasty diseases. Nobody's happy about these factories being in Provoy. That's the reason he's come to us. The offer is profitable, no doubt, but the smell that comes with it is foul. We mustn't make a deal with this little man. Better to send him away and quickly. That will teach the other money bags a lesson too. Just because you are stuffed with gold, it doesn't mean you are allowed to do whatever you want. We are not provoiced dump. Let them find another place to put their trash. Octavia's eyes close. Perfect! We needn't save these lands to just turn them into a dump. Free from, uh, free from our chemical fumes, our people will live here happily and give birth to healthy children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next. New products. Wrong nation. The cost of buildings with a static community bonus is reduced by 10%. Project cost 75. Um, yes, we can start this project. Nothing else is coming up. 28. Oh, oh, oh. Start even. Cold Iron Dwarven Warx. You can't. He's a dwarf, but you can't use the dwarven warx. Cold Iron. An exotic weapon. Damn it, no one can use it. God damn, exotic weapons. Kareem is a dwarf. He should already have the specialization to equip dwarven weapons, regardless of his class. God damn it. Okay, we're I'm there. bashing. Cold iron weapon. So it's still useful. Okay. There's nothing I can actually use right now. Well, going to leave again. We're looking for another path to the Technic League hideout. To finish up this quest with Longer and Octavian. to avoid <laughs> adventures can wait he's the first one to get tired again why why is she always getting tired before anyone else
Fortitude, maybe? No, no. Begin resting now. You fight good, but you're boring. A block, a lunge, all with a shield in your hand. Where's the fun in that? Just imagine, hit one in the ear, the other in the jaw, and punch the third one so hard he sees above the clouds. For my shield, a whole party would spend all we have on healing potions. You like cracking skulls, and I'm perfectly content with that. But you'd better let me watch your back. It'll be a lot safer for you. Priam, the advisor's servant, uh, came to an agreement with the mage. Discovery now belongs to the local mages. They are studying it with great interest. Great agreement with gold. 400. Uh, great agreement with gold. 75. This is doable. Yep, let's do this. Seventy five PP. Following on companions to enter this location. Okay. So, group uh, changing group will take two days and thirteen hours. Two days and thirteen hours. Oh, oh wait. Like going all the way back. Changing in the group and getting back here. Is this is, is that so? Devil. Okay. In that case, of course, yes, we should have uh, started already from the capital with the right team. Okay, so this is it. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't really save your time. It still takes away from your time. Uh. Okay. So, we're going to take Octavia and. Um, Gongar. I would say this party setup. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
going to save. Very soon, very soon. Thank you. Going to rest. A minute. Um, who can take care of that? Boon can take care of that. He can take care of that. Or maybe someone. They are all so bad at anything. God damn it. Well, then we don't cook anything. We are eating our food raw. Longer intimidating posture. Uh, maintain armor. Most enemies who are weaker than Ragonga will avoid facing him and won't attack your camp. Well, okay. Let's try this one. Begin resting. Ekman, have you heard about silent hermits? They take a vow of silence and just sit there without moving for days. And at night, they quietly gobble up the gifts that the pilgrims what does this have to do with me? I don't sit still, and I talk to those I have words for. Well. All right. Saving. A nondescript hill conceals the entryway to an underground lair, a technically secret base. Enter the location. Adventures are good for skin and body shape, but they just ruin the hair. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we have arcane. Uh... In weapon flaming, close touch, brilliant energy.
course. We've got to prepare the spells again. Okay, I think we can just still do it. We will be fine. In due time. Here. In that case. They're coming! God, everyone here! I will protect. Yeah! Everything about this is botched. Where <laughs> wall? Just this one? No. Nice critical hit. Consider me provoked. What the? I'm open to your orders. Just how many more are coming here? Doesn't matter. Die for me. Do not hold us. Cannot hide from me. This is for you. Okay, who else? Who else would like to get a beating? Hmm? Oh wait. Change. Mental. Do what I must. Let's finish them quick.
right if I have to. This will hurt. Come on, good damn it. Nowhere to run. God damn it. Repent. Stay behind me. Maestro Janusz. Maestro Janusz claps as he greets you with a contented smile. So, oh, you've managed to track down my messenger. Locate this place and make your way here. Impressive, very impressive. I see all that training was not in vain. You old scumbag playing your games. You think we don't know it's a trap? Ha! We are ready for anything. Oh, of course it's a trap. Not for you though, my darling. Tavia, Rigonga, you've surpassed all my expectations. I can't help but feel pride in such students. I speak to you now not as slaves. No, you are deserving of your own freedom. You've proven I can speak to you as equals. I invite you, uh, I invite you to become proper members of the Technic League. You will become my left and right hands. You could have all the things this shabby baroness could never offer you. Money, slaves, power access to secret knowledge and powerful artifacts we require just one small entry fee the wizard points at you her head the coon's eyes narrow and his muscles tense he watches regonga closely preparing to strike a blow valerie's eyes turn ice she puts her hands uh, on a, her hand on her weapon looking at octavia and regonga silently waiting for their answer whoa that's one thing i wasn't ready for but listen up, you old piece of shit. Do you take us for brainless idiots here? You think we got through all your training and didn't learn the most important lessons? He looks at Octavia. Lesson one, never trust my Yestro Janusz in anything. Lesson two, hate my Yestro Janusz with all your heart. Enough talk, old teacher. We are here to pass our final exam. Time for fun! Mm. Nice. Let the slaughter begin! Very nice. Your life ebbs low. We are uh, focusing damage on uh, the mage. Let us strike as one! <laughs> oh. Alright. Uh, how about some... Oh, wait. Uh, let her cast haze. Let Octavia cast haze. We are going... I believe she can cast haze. I do believe so. Whoa, holy shit. This should hold you. For 
Rusty's going to run. Should have run. One all play. <laughs> ah, what are you waiting for? He's getting away. We'll catch him. We just need to set these poor people free first. No, we don't. Forget them. Can't you see the scum's getting away? Wreck, we can't leave them. We used to be slaves too. And we freed ourselves. Octavia, we owe nothing to these people. Good, good. Octavia's right, Greg. You, di you, didn't, you didn't free yourselves on your own, remember? These people need your help. But Janusz! Ah, oh, damn it. Fine, let him roll himself back to Numeria. Calistria's not blind. He'll get his someday. Enough chatting then. Let's pull these idiots out of the fire. I love you. After giving Rigonga a quick hug, Octavia rushes to help the chain slaves. Uh... Help, yeah. E -e. Wait, how? Save the slaves from the fire. How? Thank you. Okay, we are just talking to them. That's all? I. Uh oh no. I believe that's all now. Uh, no. Okay, now we have all. And of course, we're going to loot as well. Not leaving any treasure behind. Not getting back this way. <sighs> hey, stop! Damn that scum, he's gone. Rigonga kicks the door frame, frustrated, spits on the floor. It's alright, we'll settle the score later. No, we won't, it's over. We'll never see him again. He knows we're stronger now. He won't risk crossing us again. But Rag, that's wonderful. Do you really realize what you just said? He is afraid of us now. The great Maestro Janus just ran away from us with a tail between his legs. He's running back to the farthest corner of Numeria to sit and hide for the rest of his life. Great, we'll come after him. The annoyance on Rigonga's face slowly fades into a contented grin. Ha <laughs> ha, hmm, you're right. A piece of shit's going to see us in his nightmares for the rest of his life. Easy. Search uh, Janus' study. 